This is insane, but reportedly the developers of Monopoly Go have spent more on marketing the game than it costs to develop the entirety of The Last of Us Part Two. I, I, I mean, <laughs> like, what do you even say to that? I, I don't know about you guys. I've seen these ads all over like TikTok, all over YouTube shorts. It's always like some content creator you've never heard of with like 50 followers or something that's like, ooh, wow, this game's so fun. I love playing games. Wow, look, we're about to redeem a, a Broadway Avenue, whatever it is. Let's do it. It's crazy. And they just keep going, keep going, keep going. That's like the entirety uh, of the marketing campaign, but somehow it's working. Funnily enough, this is the same studio apparently that makes Monopoly Go. It's the same studio that makes WWE Champions in case you guys were wondering, but um, this guy replied to it. I'm gonna look up gameplay footage here in just a second. I read an article that the game has made $2 billion. $2 billion. If that's true, I mean, I, I buy it because mobile games are insanely profitable. But this is why everybody's like, oh, well, wh wh why are all of these companies moving so heavily towards like mobile game integrations and spinoffs? And why are they pushing microtransactions and stuff? It's because the executives that greenlight projects, they look at something like this. They look at something like this and they're like, oh, God, <laughs> it just prints money. It just prints money. It's outrageous. Um, so I downloaded to try and figure it out. So I want to I want to Google this. OK, I want to look up Monopoly Go gameplay because I've never actually seen what the game looks like. Somebody's actually done a playthrough. So I just assumed it was like it was just Monopoly, but a handheld version. But apparently it's not. It's like you have an in-game currency. You have building things timer based roles so you get to roll like this whole thing you're not even like technically really rolling well you press the go and then it rolls the dice and you keep going around like this thing is is literally just built to appeal to people who are either trying to burn time and suck the microtransactions out of them but like how is this a video game how is this a game this game you're looking at right now has made more money than Hogwarts Legacy. It's made certainly more money than, uh, honestly, probably something like Cyberpunk 2077. It's probably made more money than The Witcher 3. It's probably made about the same as Red Dead Redemption 2. This is why we have problems, <laughs> okay? This is the problem. <laughs> Because all like the executives are looking at are the dollar signs at the end of, it, of the day. And they're looking at the balance sheet at the end of the day and the bottom line when everything's broken down for how much it costs to develop something versus how much it made. And they're looking at games like this and saying, okay, well, this made one and a half billion profit for us. Cool. So we could make these and try to turn our biggest franchises into games like this, or we could spend five, six years developing something like Hogwarts Legacy and hope that it turns a profit. And when it does, we're very, very happy and it does really well. But we did all that work and it might not have paid off. And a lot of the biggest projects that you know we've seen in the AAA space don't end up actually turning a profit. They end up crashing and burning for various reasons uh, or at the very least not meeting expectations. Or you can just hire a company to pump out a really low effort, ridiculously like <laughs> bafflingly stupid mobile game that just appeals to 10,000 whales that have gambling addiction problems and you will make ridiculous amounts of money like look at this does it not just break your heart that this is considered to be like one of the most successful games in the world this this it's outrageous. It's crazy. I don't even know what to say, <laughs> I, but I saw that and it was like, dude, dude, it, it's just ridiculous how much money these mobile games make. Um, but it's because, you know, they, somebody that has impulse control issues that's playing a game like this, maybe they're working a job that's really boring and slow and they're like, oh, well, I'll just spend five bucks here. And then a week later, they spend another five bucks week later they buy a big thing on a big bundle on discount for 10 bucks and over the course of like a few months they've spent 
$100, $200 on this game that's not worth a dollar, but they did it just because it appeals to like that little bitty monkey brain of a little drip of dopamine. And when they do that to enough people on the scale of mobile games, which have hundreds of millions of players, um, you just start to make outrageous amounts of money. So this is why Warner Brothers is trying to find ways to like convert Hogwarts Legacy as a franchise into this type of thing. They're trying to, to just do this because this is super easy. And when it works, you make outrageous amounts of money. It's just wacky how much money you can print when you have these things. So I saw that I had to share. It's outrageous and hopefully it doesn't totally break your heart, but uh, it breaks my heart. <laughs> so there's that. He took my thing.